Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we will solve the following problem. x squared minus xy plus y squared equals 6 is a rotated ellipse with angle of rotation 45 degrees. In my last video, I have explained how we can find this angle of rotation and transform the equation into a standard form, that is, without xy term. You can check the link in the description. In this video, we will find some points on the ellipse having maximum y-coordinate and maximum x-coordinate. So this point and this point. Alright, let's get started. Starting from point with maximum y-coordinate. We use our relation between maximum value and derivative. If y is maximum, then its derivative with respect to x, dy over dx, must be zero. So let's differentiate the equation of the ellipse with respect to x. First, we have 2x, and for the next term, we have to use the product rule. So first, differentiating x gives 1, so we have 1 times y, which is just y, minus, now x, times the derivative of y respect to x, so dy over dx. Then we need to differentiate y squared with respect to x using the chain rule. So first, differentiating with respect to y, which gives 2y times the derivative of y with respect to x, so dy over dx. The right hand side is constant, so by differentiating we obtain 0. Therefore, we have 2x minus y equals x minus 2y dy over dx, so the derivative dy over dx equals 2x minus y divided by x minus 2y. Therefore, when dy over dx equals 0, we have y equals 2x. Substituting this relation into the equation of the ellipse, we have x squared minus 2x squared plus 4x squared equals 6, which gives x squared equals 2, so x equals plus minus square root of 2, and from y equals 2x, we have y equals plus minus 2 square root of 2. Therefore, the point with maximum y coordinate is square root of 2 comma 2 square root of 2. And of course, the other solution, minus square root of 2 comma minus 2 square root of 2 is the point opposite with minimum y coordinate. Next, the point with maximum x coordinate. The process is quite similar. This time we consider y as an independent variable and x as a dependent variable, that is, we consider x as a function of y. Then if x coordinate reaches maximum, its derivative with respect to y dx over dy must be 0 at that point, so we find dx over dy. Differentiating with respect to y, we have 2x dx over dy by the chain rule, then we apply the product rule, so derivative of x with respect to y times just y minus just x times the derivative of y with respect to y, which is just 1, then derivative of y squared with respect to y, so 2y equals 0. So we have 2x minus y dx over dy equals x minus 2y, so dx over dy equals x minus 2y divided by 2x minus y. Therefore, when dx over dy equals 0, we have x equals 2y. Substituting into the equation of the ellipse, now in terms of y, we have 4y squared minus 2y squared plus y squared equals 6, so y squared equals 2, so y equals plus minus square root of 2, and by x equals 2y, x equals plus minus 2 square root of 2. Therefore, the point with maximum x coordinate is 2 square root of 2 comma 2. And of course, the point with minimum x is minus 2 square root of 2, minus square root of 2. 
And that was all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video.